So here's the uh, Indian mound that's in this park. It's pretty big horseshoe shaped. They got it all fenced in all the way around. Love to know what's in that thing. I don't know if there's ever been any research done on it or not, but I figured I'd put this on video since this is probably one of the last times that I'll be here. Just thought it was really interesting. So I don't actually think I'll ever be back at that park, at least not for metal detecting. That's why I wanted to show you that real quick. Uh, pretty interesting that that used to be one of the biggest Indian mounds in Ohio. And if you research Mound Park and look how big that was, it's, it's phenomenal. But when they built the town, they pushed all that over and they left that one mound. So it's kind of depressing that we as people... Um, you know, we try to progress as a, per, as a as a people, and in the meantime, we don't care about that kind of stuff. We'll just level it. So, kind of depressing, uh, but it's really it's, it's really neat that at least they left that part of it so we can enjoy it. Well, on another note, um, I did get to dig three pennies and a dime, and the earliest coin being like in 1983. I got to dig, but it's depressing. And my wife's out of town for a week. She's finally on her way home. And I haven't been able to do anything but sit in the house. Um, you know, don't have a curfew, don't have to worry about her wondering where I'm at or just anything. You know, I can just go do what I want. I couldn't fish. Rivers are swelled up everywhere. The ponds look like mud uh, or chocolate milk. And uh, everything out here, you go, you go try to dig somewhere. As soon as you get out, it pours. Or two, if you think it's going to stop, you go out and you try to dig a hole, it starts filling up with water. So. Man, it has been a bad week. I hope your guys' week's been better than mine because here in Ohio, it has not been good, man. So, unfortunately, tomorrow I have to work. and starts my work week. So it looks like I'm down another week before I can go do anything. Well, it's day number four. I come back in town to do a little bit of metal detecting, which is about a 20-minute drive. And as you see, it's raining again. I wanted to just show you this view. It's raining so bad at times that you can't even see the hills hardly off in the distance. And over here, I mean this bottom is absolutely huge. You can see how far it goes. The river is actually starting to come up and uh, fill these bottoms, which this guy raises soybeans every year. And it looks like, you know, he may end up losing this stuff. It's about ready to come out of its bank now. And you know as well as I do, if you got that much in there already, at the crest of the river isn't until about two days after day, two days after it stops raining, and it hasn't stopped in three days. So, no, this is day four. So, uh, it's been miserable here in Ohio. Holy smokes, man. Look at this. Right down by the house. Never knew that happened. See that car on the side right there? Ooh. Right through there or around? You wanna go that way or straight down? He had that cone sitting there, man. I couldn't yeah, see. Yeah, we, we sat it there just in case. Oh, all right. Am I good? Am I good? Yeah. All right, man, thanks. Whoa, check that out. That is not good. Stadies. We say Mayberry. Oh, look at that. <laughs> 